Welcome back to Homeschool Life. I'm Paula, I'm a homeschool mom, and one of the things that I love about homeschooling is the community. And so that's what we're here for, is to provide a place for you to learn and grow and share and be encouraged. So be sure to leave a comment and ask any questions that you might have and share your experiences as well. And take a second to subscribe and click on that notification bell so that you can stay up on our latest new content. Today I'm going to do a curriculum review for you on the very ever so popular Saxon Math. I know you have a lot of choices out there and hopefully this will help you with your research. Now, Saxon Math was one of the first math curriculums that it was written for classrooms and for public and private classrooms and was being used successfully there and they were one of the first ones to just tweak it ever so so that they could make their homeschool edition and so now they do both. So Saxon math is very traditional and in that I mean that it is secular, there is no religion, it's got your presentation, it has your practice problems, your reviews, your tests, your grading those things. Um, black and white pages, um, there's, there's not a lot of fluff with Saxon Math at all. Now, they use what is called the spiral learning approach. And so what this means is there is a continual review going on of all the concepts that have been learned as well as the new thing that is being learned in each lesson. So they also use what is called an incremental approach. And with this is that's when they're taking a, a concept, but they break it down into little tiny bite sizes and they just teach these little tiny step by steps. So then it, it, it ends up being that bigger concept. So you've got that going on as well as all that spiral review. And so it's a big mix. And in their practice problems, they give you lots of practice problems and they give you the same problems but with different approaches and different angles and different methods of, of solving them. And so it's a big mix. Now, some of your students may get confused with this, but others are going to just thrive. They really enjoy this. Um, some of the ones that really enjoy this are going to be your right brainers, your uh, repetitive learners, your visual learners. Okay, and now keep in mind there are some anomalies, so just keep that in mind as well. Saxon Math does a great job of keeping up with the national standards. And so therefore, they pack a lot into their math curriculum. Each grade level, each book has a lot of things in it that you might not find in some of your other typical um, choices that you could use for math curriculum. So for instance, they're going to include things like the weather, um, teaching about the weather and seasons in your younger grades. All right, so this means Saxon Math is gonna be going at a little bit slower pace than like your Abeka, Alpha Omega, Bob Jones, some of those. All right, Saxon Math is very strong in developing those thinking skills, doing paper math, and doing um, not so strong with concepts with manipulatives. Now, you will see here in just a minute, they do use a lot of manipulatives in those grades K through three. But after that, it's all on paper. And then the last thing that I want to tell you in general is that students do test high on the standardized tests when they have grown up using Saxon math. The ones that can successfully use it, they do really well on those tests. So I want to start, I'm going to, I'm going to break this down for you. I'm going to show you K through three, and then I'm going to take all this away and I'm going to bring in the upper grades for you because K through three is a very different format, and that is because it is written by a different author than your grades four through 12. So K through three is very teacher-led. Um, it has scripts in it for you to follow, so it's great that you just have to follow that and read along what it says. And it's very heavy on the use of manipulatives. Um, your kids are going to be learning their basic math facts. They're going to do lots of drills on that. And the goal is that they will reach mastery in that by the time they get to third grade. So let's take a second and look at the manipulatives. All right, let's, let me show you these manipulatives that Saxon has put together very nicely for you in this storage tub that comes with a lid so that you can keep everything nicely put away when you're not using it and you can just pull it out when your children need it. And again, this is to use for your grades K through three only.
And so all of these things, your children, you will be using with your children so that they can learn their math hands-on through grades K through three. Okay, now, when you get to grades three through five, you have choices with Saxon math. You've got two different paths that you can go. One of them is called the intermediate series, and that's just gonna be your grades three, four, and five. So with your intermediate series, that's gonna be a nice little transition for your children that you feel like they just need that little bit more um, teacher-led before you just turn them loose for their independent learning. So you would wanna choose that series. Now, if you want to just jump right in and you don't feel like your children need that transition, they're ready to do that independent learning, and they are just gonna follow along with the rest of all the grades, then you're gonna choose like your 5-4 and your 6-5 and so on. So what's up with these numbers and what does this mean? All right, the first number is for your students who are a little below that level, that grade level. So for instance, grade five, they're a little bit below grade five. Um, they're a little bit slower learning. Um, but the four is for your fourth grader who's like above average, a little bit brighter, a little bit quicker. They just catch on like that. So this tells you which book you would start each of your children in. And so I know it seems a little confusing to start with, but you get used to it as you are going. And then all the rest of the books are like that until you get up into like geometry and algebra. All right, so next we're gonna talk about um, starting with 5-4 and going up through cal calculus. Okay, now let's talk about your grades 4th through 12th, all right? And so that's gonna start with your 5-4 and you've got your six, five, seven, six, and it continues on up through calculus. Now, what I wanna show you, I'll just do this with the six, five, is your student book. And as you can see, you've got your black and white pages. You've got simple illustrations. And so there's, again, there's not a lot of artwork or fluff or anything that would be distracting to your students that get easily distracted with any of that. Along with the student book, you get your tests and your worksheets. And they're nicely three hole punched for you, so they're ready to go in a three ring binder as well. And again, simple black and white. All right, and then you get your solutions manual. And your solutions manual has your entire solutions to it so that it's not just the answers for you. And so that's very helpful. Now, there is no calculator introduced calculator work introduced at all until Algebra 1. This is very independent learning for your students, and you parents just have to check daily their work, their practice problems, their reviews, their tests, and I encourage you, do check it every day. Because if you don't, your student thinks that they know something and how to do it, and they're doing it thinking they're doing it correct and it's incorrect, and then now you have to go back even farther to get them recorrected. And it just creates frustration and extra work for you and your student. So I have some resources for you that you can check out online that is very helpful to go with Saxon. The first one would be kathyduffyreviews.com. She does a great job breaking down what is covered in each of these different books. The next one is learningthings.com. They have free placement tests for you. So if you're new to Saxon, if your children are in upper grades or anywhere besides kindergarten, they can take these placement tests and it will tell you exactly which book to start your child in. Homeschoolplanet.com has lesson plans for Saxon already pre-made for you. MyMathAssistant.com has the exact same problems from these books, but online. And so your students get instant feedback. Did they get that problem correct? Did they get it incorrect? And you can monitor and then you can tell when they need to maybe review a lesson or just back up and relearn a lesson really quick. All right, and another one is hmhco.com slash homeschool. Make sure you get on the homeschool because they do both secular and homeschool. They have teacher DVDs that you can purchase. So if you have students who really need more teacher-led, but you really like everything else that you're seeing and hearing about Saxon Math, then I encourage you to get those teacher DVDs for them. All right. 
Where else can you go? Mardell.com. All right, check out more information on these products and other things as well. And also blog articles, and I'll write more about Saxon Math, some different things that you can look at that blog article as well. And then check out our channels on YouTube and Facebook for more homeschool life videos that I've created for you and will continue to be creating. And as always, please shop in our stores if you have one locally. I hope that this was helpful for you. I hope it inspires and encourages you. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and enjoy your homeschool life.